Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's December 26, 2023, and uh, Thea and I hope that everyone has had a beautiful and fantastic Christmas and, uh, and are doing well, healthy, and getting home from your travel travels and recovering from the big events that everybody went, went through over the holidays. Uh, yesterday was uh, Christmas Day. It was actually a beautiful sunny day. Uh, so I got the Skydio 2 out and uh, decided to get a couple of flights in. So I thought I'd share the first flight of the day here. Uh, here we are uh, right over the central garden area here. On the left of the screen you can see part of the bioremediation canal system there and Pond 4. The workshop and you can see the uh, west garden plot on the other side of the, the, the uh, workshop there. The greenhouse panning around again, our, our home at the top left corner of the image, or top center about. And now we're flying a little bit north. A little bit much easier to see to see everything uh, when the sun is out and there isn't a whole bunch of sun on the ground. And certainly here's Pond 2 over here. This is all part of the second food forest that we're flying over now. You see a lot of the fruit tr trees, nut trees in here. Uh, hazelnut bushes all along in these areas here uh, and the swales of course each one of these swales uh, in these locations here here where the grapevines are no not much going on with those right at this time and uh, in this shot we don't get to see all of the different fruit and nut trees all in here that I transplanted because there's still shadow here uh, being cast from uh, from the uh, sun through the forested area. Uh, here we can see Pond 1, so here's the large weeping willow tree and the uh, horseshoe shaped or kidney bean shaped um, Pond 1. And uh, just going over the same area that we went over the other day <coughs> when it was our typical central New York overcast day and uh, so this was a sunny day and uh, yeah, there wasn't the snow on the ground and uh, so I decided to get the Skydio 2 out and take a look around. I got a little bit off track because the sun was blaring on my screen and my phone uh, which I use to direct where I'm going. This is the neighbor's property right there and now we're going back into the forested area. Right over here is Pond 8 Hard to see amongst the trees, but this is where Pond 8 is, right in here. That's uh, one of the more recent ponds that I put in. The mo most recent one that I put on this property, on, on, on this, uh, our initial homestead property here. And, uh, and one of my intentions are, I'm in the process of writing some articles about homesteading. I think much of, uh, of what we're about is we are homesteaders. I, I consider ourselves modern homesteaders. And, uh, and those people who are new to the channel, uh, probably with the hodgepodge of all the different videos we've made over the years, it's hard to, to, to appreciate what we know, who we are and what we're about. So I still have to decide uh, how to create the uh, that video that's going to go on our landing page for our YouTube channel that talks about, you know, introduces us in a brief way and talks about what, what sort of things that you can expect in the future. And we're both trying to decide that at this point. We're going to pan to our, our right here, which is going west. So this is Pond 3, right in front of us now. We're part of the bioremediation canal system there our main access road heading out back to where the solar panels are and all just flew over. This is Pond 4, so Pond 3 drains into Pond 4 and uh, Pond 4 I'll be doing some more work on this in the next couple of years. You can see the greenhouse here and uh, also Pond 5, so Pond 4 dumps into Pond 5 underground. There's two, two drainage uh, pipes that go, th go to there and then there's a drainage swale that drains Pond 5 and heads back east again uh, to Pond 6. This is all the, the first food forest. All, everything you can see on the screen now is all first food forest. This is a honey hut here, sugar shack here, 
and the solar panel arrays here. So these are rack mounted uh, solar panels. Many people put their solar panels on their roofs and we've talked about that in the past, some of the benefits of having a rack mounted uh, system if you have the space and all. And where we live we wanted to take advantage of the shade in the summertime and having a large overhang on the house as well. And uh, I've talked about that in prior videos. This is where I'm storing a lot of the equipment. And now here's Pond 7 right in here, uh, which is a really, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's filled up now, but uh, once I did the, uh, the addition on it here, so it used to be just a circle here, then I had an expansion here, and now we've got the whole area. But there is a sand pocket there. Now we're looking at some of the roadways heading down back to where the beaver ponds are in some of the forested areas here. You can make out some of the roadways here that I put in, which uh, parcel up some of the area. You can see this is the roadway over here to the far side. This is where the beaver have been working recently. Uh, this is the lower beaver pond. This is the upper beaver pond up, up in the upper left-hand corner. These are all roadways that I've been uh, trying to maintain and work on as well. And the lowest beaver pond is down in this area here. Uh, so there's a six foot drop off between this pond and this one and another six foot drop off between this one and this one. So there's quite a, ch a significant change in elevation. This is one of the beaver crossings right here that I had a patch recently. Now we're flying over some of the, the new roadway here on the right hand side of the screen. Heading over to the new property. In this video, I really won't uh, spend any time going over the new property. I did three flights on Christmas, and this is the first one. You can actually see the beaver uh, canal systems even in a pond. So these are the areas that they traverse all the time. Uh, just regularly maintained uh, uh, little uh, canal systems, even though they're still in the pond. It's where they can bring their big logs and big branches through without uh, working real hard. Roadways here, roadway here, hard to see with this one. There's the workshop up here, the solar panels are right in this area. Uh, this is the lowest beaver pond over here. And you actually could see a little bit of the beaver dam in the upper left hand corner just a, a few seconds ago. I didn't notice it on this screen. The beavers maintain all of these dam walls around here. This is one of their, their main thoroughfares. This is one of their crossings right here. And we'll get to one of these crossings in just a second, I think. So here's, here is one of their main crossings. It's hard to see, but there's a really deep canal system that they bring lots of materials out through this area. There's another uh, beaver dam uh, crossing right in this location. One of the roadways here. This is this used to be the spillway and then I put in a canal going around in this area and the beaver decided to dam up the spillway which is fine and uh, they're creating another pond system over in here. I haven't, I don't know that there are any beaver actually have a lodge, uh, a, a, a uh, bank den yet in this area. There's no uh, freestanding lodge in the area. So this is a spillway here that I'm always working on. And this is part of the roadway here. Curves to the right up here. Some of the neighbor's property here. Where the pasture is. Pond 7 coming up ahead of us here. Roadways. This is the leaf mulch or the compost pile right here. Pond 7, a marginal zone. This is the uh, uh, drainage swale from Pond 6. Pond 6 again is that the pond that we have lots of issues with it uh, going dry 
It's all bony gravel, solar panel arrays, sugar shack, root cellars below the sugar shack. I just posted an article on root cellars. Uh, again, first food force here, all through this whole area here, mostly uh, fruit and nut and berry, fruit, nut trees, berry bushes. <coughs> this is pond uh, four, uh, pond five to the far left. The greenhouse, the work area, the coop area, the fig trees up here in the upper left. West Garden, blueberries here, thornless blackberries here, honeyberries all around the perimeter here. Here we've got the garlic and shallots planted this season. We have uh, raspberry plants over in here. Sweet potatoes were over in this location. Uh, the aviary outdoor kitchen, which I still haven't gotten to yet. A lot of work to do on the property yet. This is the uh, sediment collecting canal system. It's so all of these swale systems that we put in before drain off of the road and drain off of the driveway so we don't have it, it when we get those big downpours we want to avoid all of the flooding that can go on this is pond two here uh, so this swale system here drains directly into the sediment collecting canal system this swale here drains into pond two this swale system drains around and comes around and drains into pond two. Uh, we've had pond one overflow through the third food force. We're changing that come uh, hopefully this coming summer and get some more work done. Here's the uh, the uppermost swale system going up here. There's a transition uh, zone change right at, right by this bushy maple tree here where this dives in deeper and deeper as we go uphill uh, towards the northeastern corner of the property. And the sun's coming through a bit more. You can see many of the fruit and nut trees uh, all around in here. And this has been a big muddy mess for me doing all this transplanting this fall. So, yeah, a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort. It's taken us uh, I first moved on to this property in 1975 and uh, after graduating high school my dad had passed away uh, just a couple of years before that before that and um, and then in 1976 uh, I started clearing the land down at the other side where, uh, where, the, where we ended up having the wildlife rehabilitation center but we cleared one acre of land that was the first uh, bit of property when my dad passed away, my mother gave each of us the opportunity to have one acre of land. So we got one acre. And then gradually over the years, Thea and I have uh, bought more and more parcels until we got everything but uh, one acre uh, that one of my brothers sold off to a friend. And uh, so, and you can see the blue spruces, which there's a whole video on me uh, pruning the lower halves of those going down. Uh, lots of different uh, variations in walnut trees all along in here as well, chestnuts. These tree tubes here are mostly uh, Chinese chestnuts in this area. And so this has taken uh, 40 years for us to gradually get things and it's still evolving. As, and now I've got heavier equipment where I really just start, started off with just a couple of different hand printers. I saw the originals. So this is a swale that wraps around, dumps into this swale, and then into pond two. Pond two dumps into the sediment collecting canal system right here. And that sediment collecting canal system helps to shuttle the water. Anything that could overflow going downhill is diverted from our home. Uh, because there isn't a basement here, but there's the large thermal mass unit, which is like a crawl space or a basement for a home. And again, when we put this in, it's a salt box type design home where there's uh, about, about a, a 43 degree angle uh, pitch to the south, which could gather as much sun as the solar panels could. But we wanted to, I wanted not to have to. Um, I really didn't want to have to deal with replacing uh, shingles every 25 years because this is, we decided, our forever home. 
I will be producing an article or posting an article soon about key line dis, uh, uh, design. I posted a video about that topic in the past. And uh, so if you click on the image in that article, and it, it isn't up yet. I just posted uh, the one on the root cellar, and that's up now as well. So I'm trying to get some articles to go over these various topics as time goes on. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll get that done uh, in, the, in the meantime. But since it was a sunny day, I thought I'd get the Skydio 2 up and we'd have a look around. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Stay safe and happy holidays.